Now, uh, one of, uh, listen, I'll, I'll say it. One of my favorite actors, the last bunch of years that I've been in this business, one of, I'm not top five actor or anything, but one of the, the actors I've really enjoyed their work was Army Hammer. Mm. Uh, I've had a chance to meet and talk with Army Hammer a number of times. Right, right. He was so, yeah, I've, I've got a picture of him and me. And then I, after everything kind of came out, put, I, I put up the picture of him and I said, what? Now that I think about it, he kind of looks at me like I'm delicious. But it's kind of drooling. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of uh, <laughs> drool going on there. But, you know, uh, Social Network. He was oh. uh, amazing mm -hmm. in that so good. Man from Uncle with Henry Cavill. Him and Henry Cavill were fantastic together. And then a whole bunch of really dark, very unfortunate allegations started to come out about him, all that kind of stuff. Well, of course, being the society and the culture we live in, there's a documentary coming out about it now called The House of Hammer. Uh, IndieWire is reporting. <laughs> Ray, Ray, I'm, that I'm is the funniest sorry. thing he's ever heard. The first I've heard of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The name of the documentary is The House of Hammer, which, yes, of course, that, that, that could mean a lot of different things. But it, it's called The House of Hammer. That basically looks at all the allegations and things that came forward about Army Hammer actually talking to the women involved. And it goes deeper than it goes into that. I mean, at least the trailer implies that there's a dark history with the whole family. Now, I have not seen it. I've only watched this almost four minute long trailer. It's, I mean, it's a long, long trailer, mm. but you know, I'm watching this stuff and we were talking about this a bit beforehand because as the women in question start reading off a lot of the stuff that army hammer would say at first to me, who is as vanilla boring <laughs> dude as it gets at first to me, I'm listening to, him, I'm like, okay, so he's into kinky stuff. I mean, it's kink, right? But that was just laying the foundation as they kept going more and more into it. And you realize there's an escalation, how dark it's getting. And then they start talking about what he actually physically would do to them mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. And you're like, Oh my God. And then once one person came forward, a whole bunch of people start coming forward. And then even members of their own family, even the members of the hammer family coming forward and saying, no, we we've got a messed up family and, and here's where it comes from. I, Listen, I, I am not a TMZ guy. I don't care about, you know, off-camera antics unless it directly affects the movies that we're watching. This does happen to be a movie that's coming to Discovery. Um, and I got to say, as a guy who has been a fan of Army Hammer for a long time, it's it, it's it's disturbing. And I am I got to say, though, at first when I saw the length of the trailer, I thought, well, that's bad. Like, if you know how to make a trailer, you don't need it to be that long. But when the trailer ended, I'm like, I feel oddly compelled to watch this. Mm -hmm. I know, Chris, you had a chance to see the trailer this morning. What do you think of it? Oh, my gosh, it looks so disturbing. And like you were saying, it just does start off as something of this is somebody who's into a specific kind of kink. He is addressing that with his partners. This seems to be something that everyone's consenting to. And then it escalates from there and becomes talking about so much control and violence monitoring the meals his partners would eat, wow. the very, very violent texts he would send about getting violent and eating them and consuming <laughs> them in a very non-sexual cannibalistic way. Uh, it's super, super disturbing. I am wondering why all of the talking heads look like they're from Love is Blind. Like it looks <laughs> like they're on that same set with different lighting and that kind of takes me out of it. I, I agree. I thought that was a bad choice. Yeah. You know what? That the choice of just the background. I, I mean, yeah. this is a minutia. This thing, is very, very nitpicky. But in watching it, and so I thought, oh, this is mockumentary. This is like, paid, but it, no, no, they, it actually, it, it would have been better if they were talking to them in a living room or something like that. Exactly. But it, whatever, that's it just feels, an artistic choice. It feels very reality television talking yes. head at first. But then as everything escalates, I mean, that is so secondary to the actual atrocities you're hearing about. It's going to be a hard watch. It's going to be very, very disturbing. But like you're saying, it's a very compelling trailer about a really, really dark, dark history. Rob, you saw the trailer. I mean, listen, I, I admit, I really don't know anything. I've heard whispers about, well, you know, the army, the Hammer family background, but I don't actually know anything about it. So this has piqued my interest a bit. What did you think about the trailer? You know, it depressed me just watching it. I, I, I mean, like you, I was a big Army Hammer fan. I really saw him for the first time where I, I wanted to know who he was in the social network because I love that movie. And then his Oscar nomination turn in Call Me By Your Name, and, which yeah. he was incredible in. Incredible in and 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 all this. And and first of all, he's impossibly handsome. He's from an incredibly wealthy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's just kind of ridiculous. from an incredibly wealthy American family. I'm like, you could do anything, dude. You know, you, you could do anything you want. Maybe that's the problem. You know, mm, he, he yeah. felt that kind of empowerment. And I, you know, I look at it and it just, it just, it just bums me out. You know, like you're rich, you're handsome and you want to eat people like i would say one it's of those things is not like yeah it's, it's it's just 
I, I, Sounds like there's so much more me. you could be doing. So if he was poor, we'd let that slide, Rob. Or if he was like not as attractive, he'd be like, "You can eat people. That's fine. Uh, those can be cannibals. What? What's uh, going on here?" Eat those I, what I looks. meant was is that is that he he had the power to do so much with the world. Okay. You yeah. Know? All right. He, he could reach out. He could become. He could produce movies. He could be a philanthropist. He could, you know, build latrines in Costa Rica like we used to do in high school. You know, when you'd be one of the amigos. You know, in the summer. You'd Never, never, whatever. But he could do that, and he could help people. But he didn't. He chose it it will be that. interesting because you know the trailer ends with a uh, Hammer family member saying, "I am going to discuss like reveal all, all the stuff." It's like, okay, well, you hooked me. I and and maybe maybe I feel a little bit bad about myself. That, uh, you that know what? Me. You know, you're not wrong. Yeah. You know what that, I mean? Yeah. I, 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 when that trailer is over, I'm like, oh, my God, I've got to see that. And I'm a horrible person. <laughs> like, why should I want? Yeah. Well, I feel like it's it, horror and true crime. It ha kind of yeah. bridges that same gap of I'm experiencing fear and absolute disgusting horror in a safe environment where I'm removed from it. But I get to watch it and it has both schadenfreude feelings of it. But it also makes you explore a darkness of humanity without having mm. to actually be down in the trenches with it. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Have you had a chance to see the trailer for The House of Hammer? If so, what did you think about it? Whatever your guys' thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Hey guys, we want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Now, I started taking Athletic Greens because I don't eat enough vegetables, and I was looking for a way to make up for that deficit in my diet of those vitamins and minerals that I really need in my system, and thank goodness I found Athletic Greens, and I literally take it every morning. You see, with one scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, all the things. And my wife got onto it, and now she absolutely loves it. You know, tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to choose one with high-quality ingredients that your body will absolutely actually absorb like athletic greens so right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with a convenient daily nutrition especially heading into the flu and cold season it's just one scoop and a cup of water every day that's it no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash campia. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash campia to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance.